Yellowstone volcano, super eruptions are very rare says expert sign up for for the biggest new releases, reviews and tech hacks subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters. Sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services. Our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data, and your rights. You can unsubscribe at any if Yellowstone were to ever erupt, which there are no signs it will in the foreseeable future, the results would be capped now only would millions of people in the states of Wyoming and Idaho be instantly killed, it would also have global reaper. However, there is a hidden volcanic range which surrounds Yellowstone, the Absorica Vault. The Absorica volcanoes run 165 miles across the eastern range of the Yellowstone National Park and are much bigger than Yellowstone itself. The USGS revealed Absorica volcanoes cover 2,000 kilometers cubed, while Yellowstone Plateau covers just 4,600 kilometers cubed. It was not until the 150s experts first noticed the range was not part of Yellowstone, even though they predate the caldera by 50 million years. However, there are stark differences between the two mainly in their topography. Yellowstone is a largely flat plateau, while the Absorica range has 123 peaks which stand at over 3,500 meters. The USGS explained how the two were formed. Yellowstone is a caldera forming system, where subsidence of the ground, deposition of ash, and emplacement of lava flows contributed to sweeping the Absarocas, however, are comprised of several volcanic centers with lava flows, solidified magma, and overlying sedimentary rocks subsequently eroded by wind, water and ice over tens of million. Yellowstone's lower range makes it easier to study, according to the USGS, which is the reason it gets more attention than the Abs. Furthermore, much of the Absorica range is a national wilderness, where roads are prohibited. However, the Absorica range is still worthy of study, said the USGS, despite its inactivity for 40 million. The USGS said, the sediments of the Absarocas contain fossils that provide a window to observe the flora, fauna, and climate from several million years ago. For example, petrified trees are preserved in Absorica mudflows. Trending the Absarocas also offer a means to traverse dissected volcanic complexes and understand processes still underway. The origin of the Absarocas is still a mystery. Analysis has revealed the chemistry of its lava and ash is usually associated with plate boundaries which are pushed under one another, creating a volcanic ocean. The USGS stated, however, the Absorica volcanoes are nearly 1,000 miles, seemingly too far, from the nearest subduction. An alternative explanation is that the Absarocas were produced during a period of regional extension, in which magma was brought to the surface by a process known as decompression melting as tectonic forces pulled the Suffice it to say, Additional studies would benefit our understanding of the region and lend credence to the origins of the Absorica volcano.